Hey everyone, Tragic here with some more cards. Uh, this time from eBay. This one, I was the only bidder, RE sucker. And they started bidding at 400 bucks and 21 bucks is shipping. No one else went for this. I have a little hunch, so I'm gonna go for it. Take a look first at what it is. About 3,000 cards total. We'll supply more pictures if asked. We'll throw in some magic magazines too. So here's the thing, I did ask for more pictures. They never responded. Um, so that should have been a red flag, but I kind of just couldn't handle my curiosity, so I went for it anyway. Let's see what it is. This Stronghold binder looks really cool. I kind of just want it. <laughs> and uh, hopefully there's no football cards in there. I'm not into those. Um, here you've got um, older cards, fourth edition revised, and uh, Stronghold, and it looks like at one time, uh, they were trying to build a collection. I've seen this kind of stuff before when I bought collections where people are trying to get whole sets and put them in order, like alphabetical order or um, numerical order. And they, they've got the rares uh, or the, the cards printed on a sheet of paper that goes behind each sleeve um, page. And they were trying to fill this uh, collection. Well, here they're missing some of these rares, which these ones are not that big of a deal. Um, but I'd, like to have them. Um, luckily, in some of the other pictures, there are other rares that are actually been collected and still there, and some other cards that are um, at least interesting. Uh, so you've got Stronghold and uh, looks like fourth edition, uh, maybe fifth edition, and some Urza Saga. And at least there are rares here. They haven't been pulled, fully pulled out. Or I'm I'm kind of hoping that what this is is a an attempt at a full set from years ago, and it's not actually been picked. For anything good that might actually be left here uh, but I'm totally gambling as usual because uh, I <laughs> there, nothing really great was shown um, I feel like even if they had started the bidding here at 99 cents it would have gone up pretty high just based on the fact that there are old cards in here and some of them are rares probably wouldn't have gone to 400 but in the past um, I've done okay with lots like these where the seller doesn't seem like they are as commonly selling collectible items like this at all. This is um, this seller was selling like shoes and and purses and things like that stuff that you'd find at storage lots. So these are kind of the sellers that I try to find. So we're gonna put that theory to the test right now and see if I can at least make 421 bucks out of this. Wish me luck. Okay, I'm going to go about opening this box, and let's see if we got any little bonuses here. Well, that looks like some bonuses actually, um, so not shown in the listing is this portal box, which doesn't feel like there's much in there, and some bags and boxes of extra cards, so I'm very thrilled to see that kind of stuff. Official guide to portal, no cards in it. Let's see. Anything else? Got some Duelist magazines with some pretty cool stuff. Maybe we'll go through these in another video and just kind of show them off. So, Inquest, sure. Ooh, voila. Here we go. Um, okay, so this fourth edition box has just some rule books in it. Tempest. So, in the pictures, you know, they showed Stronghold and Urza's. I was hoping that we'd see some more stuff from that time frame, like Tempest stuff. Um, let's see here. There's a loose bag with sleeves. Hey, there's a counterspell right there. So there's definitely hope for this. Uh, definitely older used cards, but... Uh, I'm actually just thrilled to see that there's more than just these two binders that was shown. This one here, we'll do a little sneak peek. And this one here. So, multiple cards. That definitely is something that people used to do, like try to get a play set and just file them away. But sure enough, like here's the the paper sheet that showed what they were going for and it even showed that it was rare and uncommon so really hoping from Stronghold for <laughs> did they collect any of the, the heavy hitters well there's an intruder alarm so very good uh, we are definitely 
Gonna have some hope here. Yep. Reigns of Power is a rare. They actually collected that one and left it here. So, um, should we just keep going through until we see if there's anything really good? Krovax is a rare. Here we go. Gray Pact. So, I think there is going to be some value in this. I, I wonder if they had multiples of good cards like Grave Pact, and apparently they did. So, it looks like it was just a legitimate attempt at uh, making an actual collection. And I really hope they got lucky and left me behind some of the really good stuff, which would be... In the multicolor and artifact slot, constant miss will get uncommon. Let's just go through and then I'll, I'll actually scan this all up later and do it correctly. But hey, Tempest, Ancient Tomb, Phyrexian Tower, here's the goods. Ah, oh, they didn't get an ensnaring bridge. Well, you can't you can't have it all, right? And ah, oh, so there that's where a Mox Diamond was supposed to be. But they put a Phyrexian Tower there instead. Let's see. Is there just one for Exian Tower? Okay. Well, I might have to actually pull out some of these other uh, multiples and maybe they, you know. Oh, that was, oh, here's the slivers. Ah, they missed the sliver queen. Well, that's how it goes. So at least I've got some stuff to pick through and hopefully end up with uh, uh, my money back here at least. So, um, Let's get into it and do it the right way. All right, everyone, here I am to start going through this whole lot. I'm gonna start with this bag. Um, got a pretty good idea what was in that binder with the Stronghold uh, cards. But here are some cards in sleeves, and maybe it was actually used as a deck back in the day, so I'm very curious to see what wasn't in the binder, what was in the deck. Copy artifact. That is revised edition is 28 bucks for a copy artifact. Well, that's doesn't seem right. Hold on. The low, the market, the trade in high on a copy artifact from Resist revised is 20 bucks. Is that correct? I'm actually going to pause. Um. I'm gonna look that up online and see if that's correct. Hang on. Okay guys, I am honestly astonished and ashamed to admit that I did not know that Copy Artifact is a 20 plus dollar reserve list card from Revise Edition. I didn't think that it was that great, so it's definitely got some play on the back foot. Um, that's pretty decent right there. We'll put it here. Hers is mine. And a few of them at that. There we go, fifth edition. We are 10% of the way to making our money back here. Anything with that now? Uh, Carpluzen Forest might be pretty good, actually. There we go. Fifth edition, Carpluzen Forest. There we go. Apocalypse. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is rare. Yep, 350 or so. Static Orb. Whoa, now we're talking 1799 for a rare from Tempest Static Orb. There's two of those. Excellent. Yeah, players cannot untap more than two permanents during their untap phases. I'm sure that's a lot of fun to play against in a commander game, but there we go. Put them over there.
Not bad. We're getting there. That looks like alternate fourth edition to you. I might have to actually check on that. It really looks dark on the back there. See, like this one's lighter. This is a fifth edition, yeah. So look at the difference there. I I, I kind of feel like this is probably alternate fourth. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep those. They're way off center. I don't know if that's anything. Fourth, 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 fourth. I, I think these are alternate fourths. They're all darker. They got. They're kind of waxy-ish on the back too. That's. I'm pretty sure that's what those are. All right, so out of that bag, I had already gotten 122 bucks worth of pretty decent stuff. I got a big stack of all old school lands that I'm gonna sell on eBay, and um, a little stack of alternate fourth edition lands um, with a darker back. And we'll see what I can do with those. Maybe they'll go for a little bit more than regular. And then I'll move on to the rest. All right, so a quick little interlude about alternate fourth edition. I had found a bunch of the lands and discovered they were alternate fourth, and I went back through some of the commons and this counter spell that I found uh, to check and see if they were alternate fourth, and it turns out that there were a few that were. So I'm here in the dark with my uh, black light to try to show you one of the differences, the ways that you can find alternate fourth. Both of them have to have the 1995 copyright date at the bottom. Uh, but if you can see, hopefully you can see, the ones on the left here, they shine a little bit in the black light, where the ones on the right do not. They're very like flat and not shiny under the black light. So the ones on the left are regular fourth edition, the ones on the right are alternate fourth. Um, so that's one way to check. And I'll turn on the light and show you some other differences. All right, back to normal here. So really, like, probably better, easier than the the black light would be to show you the back. Um, the regular fourth edition. Let's pick one here. It's a little darker on the right, and really the big difference is in the letter A. The regular edition, and like all other Magic cards have this kind of bright spot here, where the alternate fourth edition does not have that. It's much darker at the top of the A. So that's a big telltale sign right there. Also, like physically here, the alternate fourth are a little bit waxy. They almost, when you really look close, they look like almost like a counterfeit card, but it is not. So why do we care? Well, the alternate fourth uh, trend a little bit higher because uh, it's kind of a rarity. And especially like something like a counterspell, uh, might bring a little bit more than the regular dollar or so that it's worth. Uh, maybe I could get uh, $5 for something like that. And definitely the basic lands um, are going to trend a little bit higher, especially as a group. So I'll be putting those up on eBay and you can check them out maybe. And anyway, back to scanning. Okay, ready to continue scanning on into this football binder and I'll be on the lookout for alternate fourth edition cards. Um, I might have to kind of take these out of the binder. Let's grab a stack of them.
So here we got a Lord of Atlantis. Uh, more than one. Three Lord of Atlantises, uh, two revised, and a fifth edition. One, two of those. And one fifth edition. Not a time shifted. There we go. Okay, Bird Paradise and a Verdurin Enchantress. And that's an alternate 4th edition Bird of Paradise. Yep, it's a little waxy. So that's pretty decent. So Birds of Paradise, 798. Now, as an alternate 4th edition, um, should be a little bit more. So I figure that's a good one to have. Um, Verdurin Enchantress, that's a 5th edition. couple bucks yeah three bucks for the nature's lore three of those no <laughs> this binder had all the commons and just a few rares All right, 375 for the Mana Flare, there we go. Lord of the Pit, okay. Looks like that's all that's interesting here. Ooh, that's an Unlimited. Now that's a nice surprise right there. Hey, 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 very cool. It's definitely in played condition, like heavy play. Well, let's see, uh, that's a regular 4th edition, not an alternate. 48 cents for that one. And... <laughs> the unlimited version is 28.44. You know, minus quite a bit for the condition. It looks nice on the front, the back is played. So, hey, our first kind of winner out of this binder. There we go. Astronaut's Altar. There we go. A couple of those are six bucks each. Yep, Home of Possession. Almost four dollars. Uh, so this Monstrous Hound, it's a pre-release version. That's interesting. From Exodus, 1998. It says it's a dollar. I'll take it. Okay, on this page there's some good stuff. We got Gemstone Mine and a City of Brass. Lobotomy, Sulphur Springs. Here we go. We had already scanned. Maybe not. Okay, so two. Sulfur Spring, 768. There we go. A another uh, pre-release card, a Lightning Dragon. So this is actually a foil. There's a Saga card, which that's got to make it a little bit of a rarity, right? Ah, uh, normal pre-release. Oh, that's what I'm talking about there. So 3125 for the foil um, pre-release um, 
There's a saga card and it's in great condition so I want to put it in the sleeve right now. Ah, it's got a little chippy do there. Bummer. Well, otherwise it's in like really good condition. And it's a hit. Okay, gemstone mine. Aha, times three. Very nice. And uh there's a little light play. So weather light gemstone mines, eleven sixty each. There we go. Now city of brass. Okay, nine ninety eight. Very good. Actually, there's a Baron, Master Wizard right there, and a Worship. Hey, okay, that's good. So none of the good blue rares made it into this. Well, probably more appropriately, they made it out of it at one point. But Windfall... Windfall's a good card, and there are four of them, so there we go. Play set. Nothing but um, oppression, that might be something. Let's see. A couple of these. Yeah, there we go. A couple of $6 oppressions. There you go, Goblin Lackey. This is a good one. Come on. I actually think I don't like messing with binders so much. <laughs> there we go, eight bucks for a Goblin Lackey. We'll put him there. Hey, we broke even on that Goblin Lackey. I just saw that, so we made it. Priest of Titania, 397, and I got three of them. There we go. It's like we missed out on a lot of all the big stuff from uh, Urza's that might have been in this collection at one point, so we get all the leftovers, but at least we made it over what I paid for the lot, so broken even, and I still got that Stronghold Binder to go through, and that'll be up here soon. Okay, here's the last of it. I absolutely love this binder, this Stronghold Binder. It is really cool. I might keep it, or I might see what it'll fetch on eBay. That's kind of how these things go. Um, Let's go ahead and just take all of it out and try to deal with it that way. Okay, here we go. Intruder alarm should be okay, and there's two of them. Great. There we go, 1367. Okay, Grave Pact. That's a good one. Yeah, I think there was a couple of these. Perfect condition. There we go, 1473. Two grave packs ruination is a rare 
457. A couple of those. Alright, so missed all of these three rares, but uh, constant miss is actually a good uncommon. And there's a couple of those. Yep. Couple of six dollar cards and a uh, hermit druid. There we go. Ten fifty. I'm sorry. Ten eighty for hermit druid. I think this is one of those cards that spiked recently from the shenanigans you can do with emptying your library out. So that's a good one. Okay, so yep, we missed the incinerary bridge. We got a couple of heart stones. There we go, 375. We got three heart stones. We got an ancient tomb instead of a horn of greed, so that's not bad. 27, 17, so that's a good one there. We got a Phyrexian tower instead of a Mox diamond. It's a somewhat of a consolation prize. Um, it's nice, perfect mint condition, honestly. And it's not that one. There's a saga, sixteen dollars for Phyrexian Tower. I think I would have rather had a Mox Diamond, but better than nothing. Just for fun, I'm gonna see did a Mox Diamond slip behind these Hornet cannons. I guess probably not. Oh well. Okay, moving on. And this page is pretty much empty. We missed a Volras Laboratory and a Sword of the Chosen, but we got some Rancors and a Crop Rotation. So, two of those. And one of those. So that's not bad for some Legacy Commons. That we're just hanging out here. Got some slivers. We missed the sliver queen and we missed a crystalline sliver too. And that was it. That is the entirety of it. Um, Alright, so all in all we did okay. Um, 421 bucks was the investment. Ended up with 660 bucks worth of cards. There were uh, definitely some big misses that we could have had uh, in that binder, but at least there was some interesting stuff left behind, like all of this right here. So, very cool. Um, that's what I do, right? So, thanks for watching. Um, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.